Hallelujah. God is so good, isn't he? All right. We, 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 need, we need to get back and get back in the worship mood before our visitors think we're showing out. <laughs> ah. Okay. Where were I? Where was I? Where were we? Bless God. Hallelujah. But is he worthy of the praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, I want to thank you so much for it. It's, 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 it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful day in the Lord. You don't have to sell Jesus. You just have to present him. And then you can draw the conclusion for yourself. For if you never met him, If you ever meet him, he will make your life brand new. The stuff you used to worry about, don't worry about it anymore. Places you used to go, see, I don't know why I have to judge you. When you meet Jesus, you change. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Okay, Pastor, you don't, you don't waste enough time. Let's see. I'm going to skip uh, something. I got to skip something. Right? Let's, skip, let's skip announcements right now. Let's go to offering. Amen. Amen. We'll get you on the rebound. The announcement is not going anywhere. Um, I want to uh, just say uh, we do have a scheduled uh, conference meeting, uh, our annual meeting on, the, on Wednesday, 7 o'clock. I want to say that, that because I think that's uh, important. Um, you have the wonderful uh, privilege of having an administration that, that's, uh, that's accountable. Sometimes we, we may not have meetings all the time, but let me tell you something. There is nothing like the, the trustees and boards of this church that keeps our business uh, in order. And uh, we want to meet on Wednesday so that you may approve our going forth going forth the direction and that you would see how the Lord has uh, brought us to this place. The budget need to be approved so that we can stay accountable to uh, the business affairs of this church. Uh, and I can say to you that the ministry is doing well. The ministry is doing well. And uh, so we don't we we want you if you're a member of this church you you are welcome to come to be at the business session and so that you can hear our officers present present to you uh, what the proposal is for the incoming year and uh, and we will we will be fine with that okay all right um We have a we have a a, a wonderful uh, capital campaign uh, program. Fancy word for fundraising, and fancy word for focusing upon a specific area of financial plans. You have opportunity to see on the wall, see where we are headed, and uh, what the Lord 
will allow us to do. That's what we're going to try to do. And But the mainstay, I want every member of this church to know that we, the officers of this church, have made up in our mind that we're going to do the best to never put our church in a position where we have to struggle for anything. God has blessed us, and I, I know I, I'm always saying it, but I'm going to say it because some of you don't understand yet. We are totally debt free. Thanks be to God. We don't owe anybody anything but to pay our light bills and stuff like that. You know, you know, we, we don't have any, any longer, any lingering debt. And so uh, even though the project is projected at $10 million, it doesn't frighten us none because my father is rich in houses and land. He holds the wealth. I know William Buffett got a lot of money, and I know that LeBron James got a lot of money. I know that that other man got a lot of money. But he holds the wealth of the world in his hand. And so we ask you to let us respond. God puts a accountability on each of us to respond in the means of worship and praise and giving and thanksgiving. And so he set a mode called tithing and offering in the church to manifest the responsibility that each of us have that we may be accountable unto him for. And if you're believing in Jesus Christ, tithing and offering is the order of financing the church. A tithing and offering is the order of financing the church and for whatever we need. And so we believe God. Amen? And so we ask you to, we, to know that we have come a long way from fish selling and chicken sandwiches selling and, and rummage sales and raffles and Choir number one, two, three, four, five rehearsals and choir number one, two, three, four, five concerts and anniversaries. Come a long way from that. I said we come a long way from that. And and listen to me. And 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 some of our millennials don't understand that anyway. They don't know about that. But the fact is that what has remained the same is the principle of tithing and offering. It has not changed. Because God don't change. Amen? And it's equal giving, not equal what? Y'all a little slow. Y'all a little slow. It's equal giving, not equal. Uh-huh. See, y'all got it wrong. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just waiting on y'all to see. It's equal sacrifice. Not equal what? I was going to see how long y'all were going to take to get there. I really was. Come on. So we want to ask God to bless our offering. It is in the sacrifice that we give, and that's where the Lord be for us. All right? Bless us there, Brother Wilson. Bless us while you stand.